that game. He was in the outfield. Eventually wouldn't give up the dream, wanted to pitch. Um, Randy Smith, the Padres vice president of player development, called him a night ago to tell him the news. They always do this in a circuitous way. I was kind of following the game and saw that uh, they'd gone through some guys and, and looked at my phone and had a missed call from him. And when you have a missed call from a, someone in the front office at uh, 1130 or midnight, you know something, something's up. And uh, it was a great call to get. Yeah, to have a second life as a major leaguer, back as a pitcher, and if he stays in a game, he can swing the bat. We saw that in batting practice. Yeah, he so can it's, hit. it's a two-for-one deal, right? Yeah. So the left-hander, where you see his number, is at El Paso, four-pitch pitcher, fastball, curveball, slider change, 85 to 90 on that fastball. Working to Neil Walker. Walker, a switch hitter, turns it around, hits right-handed. Two men on, two out here in the fourth, and already two runs in against Jesse Hahn, who gives up four runs on six hits and is responsible for the two men aboard. To assimilate for the young man. Struck out five, walk two. You know, I, I have to chuckle. Why? It's just such a great story for Jason Lane. He's just out there that looks like a finesse type pitcher. Threw a first pitch change up. Tried to locate a fastball down the way. Finds himself 0 2. Welcome back to the big leagues, Jason Lane. I guess they used him a, a couple of times as an emergency pitcher in a blowout game. And, and the, the players and coaches said, hey, you've got good stuff. Why don't you stay with it? He's battled away. He's been in the minors for quite a while. He even pitched an independent ball. Comes up from San Antonio. Played his college ball at USC a couple of years. Barry Zito was a teammate with the Trojans. And he strikes out the first man he faces, Neil Walker. Welcome back to the Bigs. <laughs> 